It's the National Football League on EA Sports, where we'll see a brawl inside the NFC East. It's the New York Giants and the Washington Commanders, and it's all up next. It's a pretty frigid December day in our nation's capital. We got our space heaters on full blast up in the booth at FedEx Field. Today, longtime foes square off in the NFC East as it'll be the New York Giants taking on the Washington Commanders. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. A CD, these commanders, a last place ball club in 2022. In most cases, you'd say that was a lost season, but they finished 8-8-1, eight, eight, and one, 500. That would have won the NFC South. What kind of a chance do you give them in what is certainly a loaded NFC East? And you're exactly right about the division. So you have to be cautious about what you think with this team. They've got to continue to play excellent defense and get some improvement on the offensive side of the ball and establish who their quarterback is going to be. Meanwhile, for the Giants, what a turnaround last season in year one of the Brian Dable era, Charles. Yes, they finished behind the Eagles and Cowboys, but they did win nine games and one more for good measure at Minnesota in the wild card round. Talk about establishing a new base, a new culture, and getting into the playoffs while doing it. So tough to beat this Giants team in the fourth quarter. They expect that to continue. The veteran Joey Sly set to get us started, and we are underway in our nation's capital. This fielded right at the goal line. Well, now how about this return? And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. So here are the Giants ready to start their initial drive of the game. And they will be led out by the youngster, the rookie, their QB. For every rookie prospect, there are always nerves involved in this moment, running your team out to start a game. But there's a reason they brought him in. We're willing to make him their starter today. They believe he can overcome those nerves and lead his team to a victory. We saw him do it at the collegiate level and really make himself into a leader and someone you can envision doing the exact same thing here in the NFL. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Pass is caught by Wandale Robinson. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Finding Sterling Shepard for his first catch. Seven yards on the quick slant and a first down. So, Charles, yeah, take nothing away from this young man under center because I know people think he's got a very bright future in this league, but I have to figure the defensive coordinators love the thought of squaring off against a rookie quarterback. And especially if they have guys they can put together a game plan with that's going to confuse, disguise a lot of coverage, make this kid think a little bit. Because in college, he's seen a lot of things. Let's, let's not get it wrong here. But at the same time, in the NFL, you can do so much more because of the athletes you have, because of their football IQ. And don't forget, you're going to throw a couple extra rushers at him as well. See if he can handle the pressure when those guys come at him. From Commander's territory now, it's first and 10 at the 37-yard line. Going right side, he finds Slayton. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. Just need a yard here, second and one. Up the middle with Barkley. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26 yard line. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I'll bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Now a play fake here on first down. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football.
We always hear a lot of veterans on the defensive side of the football. They talk about smelling blood in the water, putting pressure on a rookie. They got to him there to force it free, but couldn't recover it. And you mentioned the pressure. Rookie quarterback, you're going to bring more pressure at him at all times because you don't know how he's going to hold up. He was fortunate there. Luck was on his side, able to recover that fumble. So they keep the ball, but work to do on second and long. On play action, they'll throw. And he's got his man in stride, complete. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that's going to set up a tough third and nine. It's safe to say the passing game has found a rhythm. He's now four of four, but might need to be five of five to keep this drive going here as they face a third down. And maybe perhaps you show a running play, right? Maybe a little play action here to go ahead and let him throw the ball downfield. I wouldn't get away from him flinging it because four for four already, I think he's got a good chance of picking this one up here on third down. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. 11 more yards there, and this methodical drive continues. Well, this is what you want to see from your rookie quarterback on an opening drive, Charles. He looks cool, he looks calm, he looks collected in marching them down the field. And Brandon, I just think the game continues to change and evolve because we're calling these guys rookies. But you know, they've thrown the football so much at a younger level now way more so than what we saw when guys came into the league when you and I came through. And also just the way in particular to him, Charles, how he handles himself in meetings, just so professional, mature. Looks like he's been in the league five years. Yeah, he cares about the game. He cares about his performance, and it's showing. Second down, here's Barkley again. And he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the 9. been a pretty long opening drive. This will be play number 11 coming up on third down. Back to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. The commander's defense holds and that will bring up fourth down. Yeah, it's still early in the game. No sense taking a chance on third down and forcing one into traffic. So I like the wise play he made there. Get it to the sideline, out of bounds, where no one's going to have a chance at it. Bullock's kick is good, and the Giants are off now to a 3-0 lead. And all in all, a pretty decent opening drive, Charles. Pretty balanced. They had the passing game going and the rushing attack, too. I would think they have to be happy with that start because you get your ground game going, which means your offensive line and your runners are pretty happy, and then you get your aerial attack going as well, so your quarterback and receivers have smiles on their faces. Now both up to speed, awaiting their next possessions for this game. They can't wait to get started again. After the field goal now, it's Bullock to kick it away. Now it's Crowder. Now it's Crowder. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The commander's set to go to work on offense, and they've handed the controls to this man in his second NFL season, former Tar Heel Sam Howell. And he left North Carolina with most of his school's records, and at one point, was thought to be maybe the number one quarterback in his draft class. He does bring deceptive athleticism and plenty of upside to the table. Add some consistency, and maybe he can really unlock what he can be in the NFL. Now first and 10 here for Hal and the Commanders at their own 23. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Off to Thomas on the left side. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And that will bring up second down. Now the second year man from Alabama, it's Brian Robinson. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Sometimes you get all those big guys down there in one spot, and there's just nowhere to go. And in this case, the defensive tackle used his strength and swallowed him up. Third down and six. Al down to throw it. 
That's out wide here for Robinson. No gain on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it'll be giant football first and 10. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that is incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down. Even though he's still in the pocket, he had a receiver out to his side, so just put that in a spot where the only people who could make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. Now a second and 10. A give to Barkley out of the gun. There he goes, right side. And he'll have it past midfield, almost to the 40, before being taken down. 53 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. This pass into the hands of Bellinger. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it's second down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Oh, jumping early from his tight end spot. Maybe trying to get a jump start on that route. Yeah, I think you're exactly right about that. And oftentimes when you see that, that means the play call was supposed to come in his direction, and he was eager to go catch a pass. After the penalty, they go with Barkley. Calling a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Four. He'll look to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. That all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Daniel Bellinger, 36 yards. And the Giants are able to widen their advantage. We're still in the first quarter, but it's apparent they're going to have to come up with a different defensive game plan for him because right now he's kind of having his way against that defense and has added a touchdown to the list. How do you slow him down? They're going to have to mix up some coverages, maybe change who's guarding him. On for the point after is Randy Bullock. He's got it, and now it's a 10-0 lead here in the opening quarter. So that drive spanned five plays. And it was finished off with a touchdown by Daniel Bellinger. So an early 10-0 lead for him now as they kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. The commander's going to retake the field for drive number two. They'll look to get something started. They need to down 10-0 early as they've got it first and 10.
Throwing here, Howell. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. It's pretty early in the game, but they've already tried to establish him not just as a runner, but as a receiver as well. Didn't happen there, but I wouldn't be surprised at all to see them try again shortly. Here's second and 10. Robinson up the middle. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. It's a gain of 35. Well, partner, I have to say they caught him in the right defense there. Nickel set, fifth defensive back on the field, and they love to run against that because now you typically get a bigger blocker on a smaller defender. Yeah, because those DBs like you, they want the interception. They're not as worried about the running play, right? Not at all. <laughs> I, I, used to, I, I still remember being in school, and one of my offensive line teammates used to say, boy, I love to come downfield and hit you little people. <laughs> Good run there. Powell. Thomas has got it. Complete. And he is out of bounds, but not before. He's inside the 30. They moved the ball over 50 yards between this play and the last one. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much-needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Still nine yards to go on second down from the 27. Faking the handoff, Howell. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. A good pick up there, 22. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Back to throw, Howell. And he's in. Touchdown, Commanders. Sam Howell taking it in from four yards out. And the Commanders have cut it back within a score. Hey, you're down on the scoreboard, but now your offense is in close, and this is where, as a quarterback, you say, I've got to make a play here. Doesn't matter whether it's a pinpoint throw or a scramble like this one. He takes matters into his own hands and delivers a touchdown run. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And that'll cut it to three at 10-7. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. Another drive coming up for New York's offense. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Well, at the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. 
Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. So the completion good for six yards. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. I'm not cool about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Second and ten. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. This one goes out wide for Barkley. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Holding offense. They were looking to throw, holding on the big right tackle. It's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You just got to pick up a holding call. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And a pretty little juke move there on a nice game. That'll bring up fourth down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. And here's Gillen on now to punt as he gets this one away. So the punt rolls out of bounds, and they'll have pretty good field position here up near the 40-yard line. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run-pass mix and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a beat on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit, a little play action and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. Second quarter now from our nation's capital, and it's Washington in possession of the football. As they've got it second and seven. Howell's throw into the hands of McLaurin. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. And he's going to have the commander's first down by about a yard as they're able to convert on third and two. It wasn't a goal line situation, but how about the goal line formation on third and short? They went in and went heavy. No surprise that he was going to get the football. How about the power exhibited there? Yeah, that was just put a hat on a hat, drive forward. Nice job to pick it up. First down, how to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. Second down, Hal back to pass. This one complete to Curtis Samuel. And they're going to have another first. 
first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 23. 28 yards the game there on the catch and run. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Back to the ground with Robinson. And he'll get about five here as he'll take this down inside the 20-yard line. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Now second and five. Again, it's Robinson. And he's going to get this pretty close to the first down marker at the Giants 14. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. Well, partner, if the defense isn't going to adjust and they keep giving them those five, six, seven-yard runs over and over, they're likely to run it the whole way to the end zone. They'll be more than happy to take the yardage available and save some of their other plays in the playbook for another time. And they'll run the option on third and short yardage. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Commanders. Sam Howell with his second touchdown here in this first half. And Washington has taken the lead. Well, Charles, he's already proven that he's not afraid to tuck that football down on the option, and he's into the end zone for the second time in the game. And that's exactly what you need from your quarterback the ability to run the ball fearlessly. And in fact, many quarterbacks will tell you running the football doesn't scare them. Standing in the pocket and taking blindside hits, that's what terrifies them. An extra point by Sly is up and good. And the lead is now 14 to 10. Slide out to kick off after the touchdown. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. The offense takes the field, and we turn our attention to Saquon Barkley. They're behind in the first half here, CD, but it's not through any fault of their running back. He's had a strong start to this one. And you're right about that, partner, because watching him play, you would think that his team is in the lead. He has been a lot of fun in this contest. Now let's see if they can actually make something happen and put more points on the board behind his efforts. Yeah, I'm curious to see, Charles, if they can play complimentary football and get that passing game going as well. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal... Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Running again with Barkley on second down. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Four yards the pickup, first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. A first down carry for Barkley. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. How about Jonathan Allen there pushing up field to make the stop behind the line? They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Look at right sideline, that's complete. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. A gain there of 21 yards. 
Man coverage on the left side, so I really like the design of this play because they opened up the field and brought their tight end the other way on a crossing route. That's a lot of ground to cover if you're a defender. I've been there before, unable to stay with his man there. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. They go back to the ground now with Barkley and able to push forward for right around three yards down to the 42. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? And this offense on third down today, they've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and seven. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Forced out to his left. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. Only able to get back a yard for his efforts, and that leads us to fourth down. And, partner, I would guess that in his headset he was hearing from his coach, it's third down, don't take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yardage. On fourth down, here's Jamie Gillen on to punt. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. And no return here. Where will they spot him? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Brian Robinson Jr. making his way back onto the field. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. Al throwing on first down here. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. Dexter Lawrence able to bust free and get to the quarterback. In every game we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them and they get their first sack of the contest. Second down, Hal now. Gonna let one fly for Robinson. It got his man complete. And they're gonna have this across midfield and inside the 45. 39 yards there, a big one. A lot of running backs in the passing game, they're just used to check it down to them or maybe dump off passes. But this guy, they use him to stretch the field, don't they? He stretched it right there, turned it into a really nice game. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. Well, hang on a second here, because on that last play, it appears one of the Giants shaken up. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. They work now on second and nine. Now how? And Thomas has it. Flash the stick skills, but didn't get a ton from it. Stopped short of the 35. So the completion good for seven there. And that'll leave him with a third and two. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Robinson will try to pick it up. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. So the kick from here on a field goal would have been right at 53 yards. But instead, offense out there. They're going for it. And they're going to find the open man. That's complete. And this is going to wind up working out just fine as he'll have a Washington first down. And an exhale there as 
they can work on forward. Both sides were holding their breath there on that fourth down play, and the offense can breathe a sigh of relief. And both knew exactly where the first down markers were. You know the defense is trying to guard those sticks and try and keep people in front, but somehow, some way, those guys found a way to pick it up. Powell's throw taken in by Samuel. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Boy, everything clicking on this drive. He's 4 for 4 now, and that throw, maybe the best of the bunch. This offense is really humming, and they pick up another first down. They'll run with Robinson. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. Brian Robinson, Jr., taking it in from seven yards away. And the Commanders are able to stretch out their lead. Well, he finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three downs, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. An extra point by Sly is up and good, and that makes it a 21-10 game. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. Paris Campbell now on the return. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. They'll look to make some inroads here, trailing 21 to 10 as they come up on a first and 10. Into about the 23. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is, possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Ball at the 23, second and eight. They'll drop to throw. A short throw pulled in by Bellinger. A gain of eight there on the play. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. Third down, Barkley. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They're able to convert with a gain of four. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll set up to throw. That's complete to Slayton. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that's going to bring up second down. Clock running as Washington will try and hurry up. Second and three. Looking middle. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Looking to throw. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he goes. 
goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. That's a big conversion there on third down because they did not want to give the ball up here late in the half. They'd love to take the clock all the way down and score. This will definitely help the cause. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And that's incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. They'll look to throw again. to the 25 before it's all said and done. A first down there on a pickup of 25. He's certainly done a nice job spraying the field on this drive, and here he finds his big tight end for good yardage, and that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. Again, he'll drop to throw. Dangerous throw there on the drop-off. Incomplete, nearly intercepted. Then their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Back to throw again. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. The Commanders bringing out the nickel package on third down. They'll look to throw here. open but he couldn't get it to him it's incomplete <laughs> whether that's a little grabbing a little hand fighting by any means necessary on third down he was able to get the job done in the secondary and swat that one away here's Randy Bullock now as he'll go for the field goal he hit his first this one from 38 Bullock's kick is good and that'll make this an eight point game so the three points here, they're still down, but they put somewhat of a dent into that lead going into the break. Anything helps when you're trying to chip away at a lead, but they do know that they're going to need a little bit better effort in the second half. After the field goal now, it's Bullock to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. One final possession for the Commanders in this opening half. And with an eight-point lead, probably not too much of an impetus to try and do too much here. Just 25 seconds to go in the half now as they've got it first and 10. Powell now to throw it. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free and it's second down. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. Throwing here, Howell. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. It's a first down for Washington on a pickup of 11.
So we've reached halftime here in our nation's capital with the commanders on top. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a solid first half of football for the Alabama man, Brian Robinson. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. Okay, coach, appreciate it. A one touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. Second half about to start. The Commanders have the lead. They'll get it first as we are back underway. This taken in at the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. Here come the Commanders for the first possession of the third quarter. They have played so strongly. You look at the scoreboard, you, you probably, with the way they played, you would think the margin would be a lot bigger, right? You would. And in your experience, how many times have we run into coaches where they've talked about, hey, we just want to put it in the hands of our defense and have them win the game. In this case, yeah, not the case. Not at all. You want to put it in the hands of your offense, but you always feel better about seeing defense because you think defense is a constant and offense kind of comes and goes. Today, <laughs> this game, no, they need their offense to stay on a really hot level. They've been hot so far. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. And he's up in it after a gain of four up to the 25-yard line laugh when people say what's the toughest route to defend and I'm like any of them especially if it's a good receiver that makes things very difficult but when you're running a drag route something short shallow going through defenders using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open that makes things tougher guys trying to get to the football now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete fifth catch of the afternoon and that gives him a first down when the offense reads blitz doesn't matter where it's coming from tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback a hot route so to speak on right, first and ten it's robinson and able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down 68 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. They've got the lead early here in the third quarter and runs like that are how they established that lead in the first half. I love the fact that you're using the word lead because they are leading from the front, pounding on the defense right now with the running game and truly establishing themselves here in the second half. Now a throw here, hold in. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination. Looks pretty good. How about that? Let's see, if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. A give running right, Gibson. That would a first down pickup of eight. Yeah, once more, strong running, excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. On first down, Hal. And he will find his man, Samuel. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. They'll throw on first down. Here's Hal. 
That's complete to his receiver, McCoy. Will go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. out of the shotgun to the end zone but it's incomplete the coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way he earned a little more attention on that route and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way this will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down and yeah, how will throw it and that is incomplete Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. Field goal unit and Joey Sly now. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. Sly able to put this one through. And the lead now 11, 24 to 13. Well, they picked up right where they left off in the first half. First drive after the break, they come away with three and increase that lead. Yeah, and you just want to keep building on that lead, don't you? Whether it's six points or three points, take everything you can get, keep maneuvering, keep adding to it, keep making it difficult for them to come back. to the main field goal. Here's Sly to kick this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And their deficit a little wider now than it was at halftime following the field goal a moment ago. But the goal is still the same because you know they want to come out, establish a rhythm in the second half, and get going. Make no mistake about it, though. Kicking field goals, not in their game plan. They need to get involved in the end zone. They'll start out on the ground. It's Saquon Barkley. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 102 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Man, these guys may not win this ball game, but you certainly can't fault the effort of this man here today. He's been a real thorn in their sides all afternoon. And that last carry puts him over the 100-yard mark. They'll look to throw here on first down. And that one's going to come up a little short. It's incomplete. Just what they need, a lecture from me, but so far offense is what helped get them into this spot. And now they're continuing the trend with incompletions. That won't get them out of it if they don't change something soon. Here now is second and 10, again for the 41. Now back to throw. Catch made by Slayton. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Back to throw here. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Giants first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Again, it's Barkley. 
Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so? Because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And he cannot avoid the pressure as the Washington pass rush gets home. And the defense coming through on third down, a loss of seven to bring up forward. I don't care if you're taking it in round one, you're undrafted, whatever. As a rookie quarterback in this league, you're going to have games where you face adversity like this. Lessons. All the time you're going to face these lessons. The key for this guy is, will he be able to bounce back in the next one? Because right now, this has not been his game. Set to go again. Here's Brian Robinson, the commander offense. He's toppled the century mark already, receiving the football, closing in on that on the ground, too. They've really had trouble handling him. I think from what we've seen in this game, his success through the air has started to open things up for him on the ground because now he's loosened up the defense, right? They've got to play just about every snap as if another receiver can get downfield on them, and he's been that receiver. Now they bring him back to the backfield. I think his yardage running the ball will increase as this one goes on. Well, they might need to devote some extra attention to him, something just to stop the momentum he has. That play was all Bobby Okereke as he got there and dragged him down for the loss. Sometimes being a linebacker in the middle of the field is kind of like being a doctor on the field. You got to make the right diagnosis. Here he correctly sends his run and shoots through to make the play in the backfield. Here's Hal to throw on second down. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, that is incomplete. Had to pass there, third and long on your own side of the field. Just couldn't come up with anything. That's why teams always talk about having to win the early downs, meaning you've got to gain yardage and set yourself up for third and short because when it's third and long, the odds go down significantly trying to pick up the first down, even throwing the football. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The possession switching back to the New York Giants. The defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. They begin with a run by Barkley. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. He's having a big game running the football, but that one will hurt the yards per carry a little bit. Yeah, but the average he's got so far, that's the type of average he wants to take with him to contract negotiations, doesn't he? Back to throw now on second and ten. This one goes out wide for Barkley. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. 110 yards rushing for him now as he's done it on 19 carries. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot of it's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Back to throw now on first down. And he'll get this underneath, dropping it off for Barkley. Pulling a gain of three on the play, and that'll bring up second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, 
They run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete, and they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. It's a gain of 11 and a giant first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. So from just across the midfield stripe, here's second and nine. On play action, they'll throw. Now this thrown deep for Slayton. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down zone coverage there and they were playing deep that makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys and that time there's not much of a window to get the ball in there and it winds up incomplete back to throw to Barkley on the check down and a nice job to break free of one tackle but it slowed his momentum somewhat and he's taken down right after They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. And this one goes angling out of bounds, and it will be spotted inside the 30-yard line. The commander's offense returning to the field. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. Howell and the commanders come up now first and 10, right at the 30. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. This will be caught at Samuel. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one goes for 24 yards. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Al throwing on first down here. Again, he'll find Samuel for the completion. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Three quarters have come and gone. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now at FedEx Field. It's Washington with the football and the lead as we start the fourth. Hal to the air on first and 10. Got this complete to Jahan Dodson. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll make it second down. Hal looking to throw again. Going right back to Dodson. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. That's going to be caught. Doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. A good pick up there on 20 yards. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. 
Who can blame him? Quick throw complete. Touchdown, Washington. Terry McLaurin, a one-yard touchdown reception. And the Commanders have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. He's got them out now to a three-score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, C.D., and well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way, and he secured it for six points. Yeah, I think when you're leading by a healthy margin already, it actually loosens you up and allows you to take maybe a few more chances and definitely play with more confidence because he certainly saw something he could exploit in the defense, and he made sure to let his quarterback know, just get it to me. And the rest was all up to him, and he delivered and made it a three-score game. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. And now out come the Giants. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. That's complete left side to Shepard, and they're able to get this one across the 35. First down for the Giants as they pick up 12. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. So the completion good for just three, and it'll be second down. You got the big lead defensively willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He's got Slayton on the slant. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that's going to bring up third and two. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. And they'll run for it with Barkley, and he is not going anywhere. They stop him for no gain. Saquon Barkley denied on fourth down, and Washington will take control of the football in great field position. Uh, being just short of midfield, they decide to take a crack at it on fourth down. They don't come through. Sometimes it's just showing confidence in your defense. You know that they're good, and they'll take care of you. A lot of coaches during the week will announce to their team, we're going to be aggressive, guys. We're going to go for it. Hey, defense, you got me? <laughs> a little bit of a challenge to them to see if they'll pick up the rest of the team. We'll see how they respond now. On first and 10, it's Gibson. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. 
And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Second down and a run by Robinson. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Powell sliding down, and he picks up the first on that play. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. It certainly appears that he's been able to get a read on how they wanted to contain him in this game. He's seen some places where he can beat them in big spots, and right there, he slides in with ease for the first down. A give up the middle to Gibson, and he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Despite the lead here in the fourth, they're still taking shots. Not content to sit on this lead at all. And to me, it raises the question of what's right in this game nowadays? Do you sit on the ball and run it because you have enough of a lead? Or do you try and extend it because you always feel like the other team can come back? Extend it. Have some fun. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But normally you might say start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter. But the way that they passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack. But you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game. And trusting this quarterback... I think he continued to do so. Robinson up the middle. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. When this offense gathers to watch the tape, they're going to like a lot of what they saw. They put up big numbers, but they might fast-forward through that last play. Oh, there won't be any fast-forwarding, partner. I've sat in those sessions before. You end up spending more time on the bad plays than you do on the good ones. It's just the nature of coaches. But I know sitting in that room, when you've had a big game, the night that they've had, you don't want to hear that. You just want to focus on the good stuff. The coverage was good, but I just wonder if they absolutely fooled the quarterback on that play. I think he was expecting something else. Ended up with nowhere to throw the football successfully. This offense, two for two on third downs on this drive. They're in for a tough test here, though. Third and long. Hand off to Robinson out of the shotgun. And he's going to come up well shy of the first here as the tackle's made right around the 12. Give him a couple on the run as it brings up a fourth down. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take him in short, steady bursts. Field goal unit and Joey Sly now. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. Sly able to put this one through. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know, if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so, and maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so that you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. After the made field goal, here's Sly to kick this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. Here's the giant offense now as they get ready to take over here. 
And last time, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. We'll see if they can pick themselves up off the mat and do better this go around. Sometimes I have this vision of coaches writing notes to themselves before a game. And sometimes that note says, be aggressive, stay aggressive. Maybe that's what we saw in the last possession. Yeah, they were very aggressive. This time, will it result in points? We'll find out. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He dumps it off to Barkley. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. Out to the right here to Shepard. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Now, three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but... Certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit. We decided not to throw it on first down, but give them credit. They recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage, but it's only second and short. So that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late, not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. He'll look to throw. It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown, Giants. Wandale Robinson, 55 yards. And the Giants have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. You've got to understand situational football because they're playing with the lead here late in the ball game. So the back defender has got to be as deep as the deepest receiver. Keep everything in front of you, rally up and make the play. Yeah, you would think they had the three score lead. Now it's down to two, but three score lead here late that they wouldn't give up a big pass play like that, but they did. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. Oh, were the Giants able to recover? Yes. Well, that certainly makes things more interesting. You get the score, then you get the onside kick. A little uphill battle still, but a start. It's not mission accomplished, but the plan is working. They are in a great spot right now, and the best part, they put the defense right back out on the field after having already scored. Yeah, they've got the momentum here now. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. They'll get four there out of the screen, and it's second down. Nice job by the defense figuring that play out and holding it to a short game, but I don't think the offense is going to be daunted. They actually accomplished their goal there. Now they've got them aware that they can throw a screen at them, maybe to slow the pass rush down a little bit, and they can throw it downfield. Second and six. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. Touchdown, Giants. Darius Slayton, 46 yards. And the Giants have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. No, we're not cheering. No, we're not rooting. But I am excited about this. I know you are, too. We got a ball game again after that big-time strike. Big-time strike, and you are right. Don't go anywhere yet. This thing's not done. Here's Bullock now for the extra point. And that'll cut the lead down now to a touchdown. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time.
Now Bullock will send this one away after the touchdown. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Here comes the commander's offense back onto the field. And with that last touchdown, I mean, we're set up for a good finish here. Some things to consider, Charles. Obviously, it's a very close game. You're in the fourth quarter. Defensively, they've got all three timeouts in their back pocket. So the chess match really ramps up, doesn't it? Because in these situations, what do you do? Do you run the ball and kill the clock here? Or do you try to bury them with another score? And how about defensively? Do you use your timeouts as early as opportunity? Or wait till you hit the two-minute warning? So there's a lot going into this one. Let's see how each side goes about their strategy. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. And what do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Commander's football as we get back to it. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Robinson with another carry. And he is going to lose yardage here. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Here's Tressway now as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Oh, it's a wobbler here. And no return on this one as that kicks out of bounds, so they'll start just outside of their own 30-yard line. The Giants now down by seven, a minute 51 on the clock. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. First down carry for Barkley. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. I know a lot of people won't like the draw called in that situation, but every now and then that pops big. In this case, it didn't happen. Here's a second and seven. Back to throw. A uh, quick throw there is incomplete. The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete a pass like having there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's thrown it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions. And that means the guys going out for passes don't run even harder because they expect it as well. He'll look to throw. chance left to keep this one going and I think for you and me let's think along with their offensive coordinator now has to think back cycling through every play of this contest and remember what's worked and what has it because right here he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive gotta try it here he's back to throw Such little time remaining, and it'll be a turnover on downs. So now let's reset here, Charles. They do have two timeouts left, so they can stop the clock twice. This one's not quite over yet. No, and what you're doing on defense, you're going to use both timeouts, obviously. But you've got to call defenses are going to force the issue early, meaning you want that play over fast. You don't want to give them time to dance around in the backfield or run a wide sweep that'll take off time. Blitz them, put pressure on them, make sure that play ends quickly so that you can go ahead and keep moving. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and 10 here. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. 
Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's a second and five. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with a minute six left to go in the game. Come on, baby, get it. The 25-yard line is what they need here. This is third down. On third down, Robinson. And he's going to get this to the 31, but that is still well short of what he needed. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. A bit of extra pressure now for this one on Joey Sly. This to perhaps salt this one away. And he missed it. It's no good. And this will remain a one touchdown game. But things just got interesting. They tried for the long field goal there to salt this one away. They don't get it. And now a little time for the other guys to mount a late drive. Well, they thought their kicker would put it through the post and finish this one off. I'm sure they discussed pooch punting it and letting their defense take over. Well, the defense now has to make it stand up, but they didn't get the best field position because the ball comes back to the line of scrimmage. This is first and 10. They'll look to throw. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scam the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. They'll come up now on second down. He's back to throw. That's to the sideline and incomplete. A couple extra defensive backs out there in the dime, and because of that, really not many places to throw the football, if any. And typically, what would you want to do against that dime? Run the football. You want to run the ball, but you can't do it in this situation. Not nearly enough time on the clock. You have to really navigate against a tough defense presented against you. Back to throw. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. So after all of this, it comes down to one final play. And just think of what it's going to be, because from this distance, you've got to be prepared for everything. Hook and laterals, tip balls, you name it. A lot of laterals after a catch. Just got to be prepared, stay on your feet defensively, and tackle someone. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. He's going to let it fly. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. So no shortage of offense in this game, but a very clean game too, Charles. Each side got its points, but they did so without committing a single turnover. That's so true, and it certainly felt like NFL football at its finest, right? You talk about the highest level from both of these offenses. Neither one of them afraid of taking risks, and both of them aggressively pushing it downfield. I did 